Hello everyone. In this section, I'm going to show you how to migrate Active Directory from Windows Server 2020-22 to Windows Server 2020-25. Recently, I have installed the Microsoft Windows Server 2020-25. Brings several exciting improvements to Active Directory. Here are some of the key features. The next generation Active Directory enhanced uh, security performance improvements and new capabilities to core service and uh, on-premises server hot patching with uh, Azure Arc allow installing the security updates without rebooting the server. And let me go back to Windows Server 2020-22. In the server, I have already installed the Active Directory users and computers. Okay, so this Active Directory users and computers, I'm gonna migrate to the new server. First of all, uh, on the local server, when I click, you can see here the computer name is master and the domain name is techlob.local. IP address of this existing server 192.168.111.132. Okay, and now I'm going to configure the destination server, which is 2025. Okay. So in the server, so here you can see the computer name is, uh, I'm gonna enter one by one, okay. And then click on change. The computer name is, I'm gonna enter Windows Server 2025, okay. And this is the computer name of the server. So once it is done, click on the restart later and we can uh, enter the IP address then after that we can restart the server I'm going to enter here 192.168.111.133 is the next IP address and here the default gateway 192.168.111.133 and the preferred DNS server, we need to enter 192.168.111.132 is the uh, Windows Server 2022 IP address. Okay, so I'm gonna click on OK, then OK again. So once it is done, uh, we can check whether the server is communicating with the the Windows Server 2022 CMD enter ping 192.168.111.132 hit enter now as you can see successfully communicate with the Windows Server 2022 first of all I'm gonna restart the server then we can start configure okay so so in between, I will show you here on the, the Windows Server 2022, uh, we can check uh, who is the owner of this FSM or all. Go to the start menu and right click, select Windows PowerShell admin and enter the command net dome space query space FSMO. And hit enter. Now, as you can see, the master.techblob.local is on off this uh, FSM role, same primary server. Okay. Uh, after the restart, the new server in the Windows Server 2020-25, we need to install the Active Directory domain services. Click on the Start menu. And go to server manager here we need to select add roles and features then click on next and next the default server is selected and click on next and select here active directory domain services and add features then select DNS server and add features then click on next and next 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 again and install 
So this will take several minutes. We need to wait until the installation complete. And here you can see on the Windows Server 2022, um, go to Tools and select Active Directory Sites and Services. Expand the sites and expand default first name and uh, expand servers you can see here only one server is listed here and after the installation we can see whether the the new server will uh, listed here okay so here you can see the installation complete successfully okay so I'm gonna click on promote this server to a domain controller on the active directory domain service configuration wizard you have a three options uh, add a domain controller to an existing domain I'm gonna select because we have already the existing domain name services okay in the previous server which is Windows Server 2022 the same name I'm gonna enter here tech blob dot local and click on select so now here we need to enter the uh, primary server username and password okay And enter the password then click on OK now here you can see uh, the if you have a multiple domain name services you can see in the list of this window and now only one domain name I have so I'm gonna select OK then click on next and here we need to type the uh, directory service restore more password okay enter the strong password then click on then click on next and next scan and select replicate from master.techblob.local then click on next and the database folder all default I'm not going to change anything then click on next and next again so here also pre request checking going on it will take some time we need to wait okay until the uh, installation complete now this server was successfully configured as a domain controller so we need to reboot the server so once it is done we can start configure let me close this so after the restart the windows server 2025 we need to check whether the bolt server is replicating or not so i'm gonna click on the tools in the server manager dashboard and select active directory users and computers then go to the domain expand and now click on the uh, computers now here you can see our client computer is already uh, listed here and uh, click on the domain controller and now here you can see both server is listed here the Windows Server 2022 and the Windows Server 2025 the second one and um, so after this we need to uh, enter a few commands uh, in the server okay first of all uh, I'm going back to the Windows Server 2022 go to the tools then select Active Directory Sites and Services and here you can see the Active Directory Sites and Services the one more server is listed here okay so I'm going to expand this uh, Windows Server uh, 2025 then click on the NTDS settings on the server 2025 
then right click select replicate configuration from the selected DC so when you click this you will uh, get the prompt message uh, replicate now the active directory domain services replicate the connection okay and after this I'm going back to the Windows Server 2025 then uh, you can see the computers and the domain controller and the PC users everything is listed here okay so once so after this I'm going back to server manager then click on tools then select active directory sites and services and expand the sites then expand default site name and expand servers and expand the windows server 2025 right click on the ntds settings go to all task then check replication topology replication topology is successful then click on ok then select this and expand the automatically generated then click on the replicate now and here also connection is success okay so once it is done uh, let me open the PowerShell admin so here we need to enter a few commands NTDS util and hit enter then enter the next command roles and hit enter again and connections and hit enter then connect to server DC 2025 okay then hit enter after this quit then hit enter FSMO maintenance commands if you don't know uh, you can enter just help then hit enter so here we need to do some commands copy paste okay so uh, the first command is transfer infrastructure master copy then paste and hit enter and select yes okay so we need to uh, copy the four commands all right then hit enter and transfer PDC copy then paste and hit enter and transfer red master and copy and paste then copy the final command then paste and hit enter after this entering the command uh, I will show you here go back to the Windows Server 2022 then we can check now who is the owner of the FSM role I'm going to enter net dom query fsmo and hit enter. Now finally we have successfully completed the fsmo role is the new windows server 2025.techblob.local. So previous server is master.techblob.local. And after this now we are in the windows server 2022 need to disconnect global catalog so i'm going to right click on the windows server 2022 master pc then click on properties and uncheck global catalog then click on apply so then click on ok so now let me refresh this so after we have so after this I'm going back to the Windows Server 2025 so now here let me enter net DOM 
space query space fsmo and hit enter you can see here the windows server 2025.techglob.lo and also we have one more client computer which we have already joined with the uh, windows server 2022 uh, that also uh, i can use without any disconnection okay so and that's it for this video and dear all viewers if you like this video please do comments in my channel don't forget to subscribe like and share see you in the next video